Hi all, welcome to this series of interview questions front end every day with a uh, vision to make each day better with a smaller step. So, uh, so let us see the question 27 of this series. How to make an object as iterable in JavaScript? Uh, iterable, I mean, uh, it, it can be used in a for loop to iterate through the values. Okay, that's what I mean, iterable. So, there are two conditions to it. So the iterable object should have the okay. It should have the iterator key set. This is the first uh, first condition. Okay, the iterator uh, key you can get it through symbol dot iterator. Okay. So with the introduction of symbol, you can uh, get this unique value using symbol dot iterator. Okay. And uh, to this uh, key, what you have to set is a yeah, iterator object. Okay. The iterator object is um, so the iterator object is through this object only the uh, for loops tries to retrieve the value one by one. So it provides a sequence, and I will show you a MDN. Okay. So the iterator object is nothing but a sequence provides a sequence and also it provides a way to find out whether it has terminated. So the iterator object will it has to have a next method which the if loop will call each time to retrieve the value. So the next method should return two values. Value uh, it should return an object with these two values value and then what is the value for this for that loop and uh, to done is to signify the uh, for loop whether uh, it has some more values or not so if it has 1 2 3 4 5 the first will be value of 1 and done false then 2 false 3 false 4 false 5 false and at last once there is no more value the value will be uh, undefined and done will be true Okay, you understand. So this iterator, by this means of this iterator, only the for loops is able to get the value sequentially, one by one, by calling the next method. Okay, and it also comes to know whether uh, it has terminated by making use of this done thing. Okay, fine. Uh, so these are two conditions. Let's see example now. So here you can see very clearly, right? <clears throat> it has a. This is my object. I want to make it a iterable. So for that, I am just setting this symbol dot iterator to a function which returns. That's what I would have mentioned here. That. So uh, this is first condition, and the second condition is the symbol dot iterator should be assigned to a function which returns a iterator iterator we saw right what is iterator so the condition is symbol dot iterator should be set to a function which returns a iterator and uh, just understand that okay function which returns a iterator okay now uh, this iteratable three you can see that we are trying to set this iterator to a function To a function which returns a iterator. This is the iterator here. Okay. You can see here. This is the iterator. Okay. So the iterator, as I told you, should have a next method which the for loop calls each time and it should be returning two values value and done. Value and done. So the condition is till uh, the i reaches 5. Okay. We are sending the value of i. And saying done false. Once it uh, goes beyond five, we are saying uh, it uh, it has no more values by saying value undefined and done true. So once the the for loop you know, receives this value, it will stop the loop. You understand? Okay. Just uh, to make iterable two conditions. The first one setting the iterator setting the iterator to a function which returns a iterator object hope this is clear okay 
you can also do it uh, more simply using this using a generator function you can set the symbol dot iterator to a generator function okay the generator function what it will do is on calling the generator function it will give a return a, it will create a iterator out of out of it that's the significance of a generator function it will uh, create a generator it will create a generator iterator out of the generator function when it is called okay this is the iterator function so it is more simple okay fine so for generator i will create a one more video separate video on this so for now understand that to the symbol dot iterator you can also assign a generator function with the star with it and on calling the generator function because what uh, on calling the generator function it will be able to return a iterator which will be used by the for loop to iterate through okay the the next is inbuilt iterator iterables so these are array string map set or all inbuilt iterable inbuilt iterables in javascript because if you see in that prototype you will be able to see the symbol dot uh, iterator set okay which provides the iterator iterator iterable capabilities okay we'll just show you in uh, just and show you here if you see array dot prototype you will be able to get the symbol dot iterator okay you can see it is already defined since this is defined it is a iterable iterable in javascript okay likewise for string also so if in any object if you have this defined it becomes a iterable automatically string dot iterator defined okay likewise for set map everything is that okay okay hope uh, this is clear this is useful for you all let me know your comments in the comment section thank you have a nice day thank you